Say hello to the new SwimOutlet.com. Enhanced navigation, larger, higher resolution imagery, more filtering and search capability so you can find what you need faster. As always, low price guarantee and free shipping on $49. The redesigned SwimOutlet.com. Dive in, say hi. Five-time Olympic medalist Missy Franklin, the greatest female athlete on earth, has just finished her first year of college. And she's just happy with the results. Rumors have been swirling this year that college swimming, specifically the intense atmosphere at Cal, would change her a bit, would harden her. It did not. Results were mixed for her team at Cal. A lot of swimmers didn't swim up to their expectations, but Missy remained steadfast. Here's her reaction to her first NC2A title in the 200 freestyle. Not even relieved. Um, it's just, it's so exciting. I think, you know, when you use the word relieved, you kind of think of glad for it to be over. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm definitely not glad for it to be over. I absolutely loved every second of it. It was an awesome heat and um, I just wanted to get, get out there for my girls. Were you trying to dip under 140? <laughs> you know, that'll that'll come in, hopefully in the future, um, but I'm absolutely thrilled with that for right now, for sure. Missy's record time, 140.3 in the 200 free, was lightning fast. But how does her yards performance compare to her 200 meter free world championship win? You know, it's kind of different. Um, I actually, I like the 200 free a lot better short course. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that my love for it's gonna transfer over a long course. We'll see if it does or not. Um, but I'm, I'm excited for this summer to see what happens, but I think it was really good for my freestyle confidence this summer to be able to win that race in Barcelona. Um, and then I think it'll help a lot going into this summer having that win. At NC2A Championships, coaches and swimmers had a lot to say about Missy's 500 freestyle. Not all of it positive. She was second in that event, though under record pace with a personal best time. Missy shared a little insight into why she and Coach McKeever chose to tackle mid-distance freestyle training. And it's not just about points for the team. It's partially about Missy putting in the base of work for all events with long-term goals set on 2015 and 2016. You know, um, it's kind of like we were talking about yesterday how you were saying the 500, you know, training for that kind of helps every, every aspect. Um, so it's definitely a little bit of everything, which is really fun doing 500 pace, 200 pace, 100 pace, but Terry's workouts are always so fun. She really allows us to kind of do what we need to do. Um, so I've definitely been able to train a little bit of everything. Missy experienced a lot of firsts her first year in college and the pink elephant in the room. Not swimming backstroke was, well, we'll let her explain. It's really weird to not have 200 backstroke, but I'm really excited to watch it. Um, you know, it's gonna be really fun. It's not an opportunity I get a lot to watch um, some of the races that I'm normally in. Missy's staying in Cal this summer, training with Coach McKeever, moving into her first apartment in May. For the five-time Olympic medalist who chose to be an amateur and compete in college, here's her takeaway at the end of her first NC2A championships. It's so hard, but it was the most rewarding three days. I mean, this season I've learned so much about myself, and whether it's through school or swimming, I, I've become so tough, especially being at Cal and being a Golden Bear. I've, I've learned what it means to be tough, um, and I am so proud of my team for coming out here and being tough. Um, we got knocked down a couple times, but we always got back up, and that's what I'm proud of. And I'm so proud to be a Golden Bear and, and to be here and be finished with my first NC2As. It's, it's unreal. It went by so fast, but I wouldn't change a single thing, and it, I had the time of my life.